Thanks for taking a look at Road to Status. The purpose of this video is to show you the walkthrough of how the entire workflow is to get this done and you'll see how quick and easy it can be, whether it's on mobile or on your laptop or desktop. You'll see there are three steps. One, answer some easy questions. We get you to the form you need. This video will specifically tee up the form I-90, which is the form you use to renew or replace your existing green card, also known as your permanent resident card. Step two is filling out the forms online. And this whole process helps you to automate that much faster. The process also checks for accuracy and mistakes. Step three gets you all the way to printing, signing, and mailing the forms. By the way, we're here to help along the way by clicking contact at any point. You can call us, leave your details so we email you back and follow up with you later. Or if you'd like to schedule a one-on-one -on -one appointment to have a cons consultation along the way, you can do that there as well. It can be sim that simple right away. So, assuming that I am a first-time visitor, I'd click up here and I'd click sign up. When I click sign up, I get to a page just like this. Fill out my information, first, last, email, password, phone number, and create account. Great, now I have a registration completed, so I'm ready to get started, and I will get started. Answer a few quick questions, and I'm on my way. So, one of those questions, lawful permanent resident, yes, next. Need a new green card? Yes, I do, that's why I'm here, next. If any of these apply to me, any one of them becomes yes, becomes next. Great, so we've answered the questions to determine what forms we need, and now we're almost there. So, here's the form, as we referenced, the I-90, and this one here, the G-1145, we include free as a bonus. What this does is it allows the government to send you updates over email along the way so you always know your status to the form progression and completion. Two forms at once, or if it's three, if you requested three, all the forms would be there at once and you could continue on to the forms. Continuing on leads us here. On the left hand side, we have the form progress. So along the way of filling out the form itself, you'll see green check boxes as each field gets completed. Now, speaking of fields being completed, I'll go through here and complete these. I will pause the video for now until I have the form completed and we'll pick it back up then and keep going. Okay, so I've filled out some key information here, as you can see, very simple, first, last, date of birth, social number, Alien registration number, if you're curious, we've added a graphic here, so you can see the red arrow pointing exactly to where on the card you would find this. Again, I just put a test number in there, of course, but find the number there on your card, and away you go. You'll see status to, to completion there, and you'll figure out anything else you need to put in, and continue on. By hitting continue, you will see that green box that I mentioned earlier, so you can see where in the form progress we are. Now, I'm gonna pause one more time. I'm going to fill out everything else on this here, so we have a completed form to start with, and I'll be right back. Nice. So at this point, I've answered all the questions necessary to complete my I-90 application, and the system has automatically populated the correct government form for me. So now we can download our completed application. And there it is, download completed application. So here it is, everything you need, including instructions to file your completed application. The easy checklist format shows you what to include with your application, exactly how much your fees will be, and precisely how and where to mail your completed forms. Now, once it's received by the U.S. government, you'll receive an email notification confirming receipt and any additional status updates along the way. Again, if you have questions at any point, you can call or email us. So, now you're ready to print and mail your application. Make sure not to send a copy of your instructions, rather just send your completed form, which you see here. And there you have it. Thanks a lot, and we look forward to working with you.